it's glue book time again. And you know what? I look forward to this time every week because it's fun and it's so relaxing. It actually gives me time to think. So while I'm talking and making a video, I'm kind of musing about my life and different things that happen and that need thinking about because sometimes life gets busy and you don't have time to just stop and think things through, think your life through and and look at your choices and wonder if you've made the right ones or examine them and see if you want to go in a different direction or why you do what you do. So I'm working in this little book that I've been working in for quite a while. If you've seen my other glue book videos, you'll be familiar with it. And my goal is just to finish up the pages. And there's there's probably oh, maybe eight or ten spreads left. So, you know, it can go on for a little while. And 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 so that's what I'm working on just to just to give us a place to kind of be together and chat. And um, I thought I would share with you today about why I really, really need to have a quiet life. So let's get started. Since we're not quite finished with fall, um, and I'm not quite into winter and Christmas, I thought, well, I have some Christmas things going on here that are coming up, but I'm not going to work on that today because I, I, I don't want to rush into Christmas when I feel like I haven't had much fall and the reason for that is because we had a very very late very long hot summer here that didn't it didn't really cool off until well into October and even then it was pretty warm so it feels like it kind of went swoop from summer right into winter which you know it kind of took us all by surprise I guess this is kind of a fun background, but these papers are a little on the heavy side. They're like, like a light cardstock, I guess. Not sure that I want that. So maybe I'll use one of these. I think I'll use this for a background. There's a couple of others here too. All right, that was an easy decision. And that way it's black and white, and then I can add color with whatever else I decide to put on it. So I'm probably not going to use like quote unquote false colors only because I don't want to, but also because they're not really my favorite colors. Anyhow, um, let's see. I like this. Lush nylon or rayon panties, fifty-nine cents to a dollar ninety-five. I don't know what year this came out, but I suspect that was um, quite an expensive bit of underwear. Must have been in the fifties because of this huge crinoline. So, okay, the first thing I'm going to do is cut off this edge. Now, if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know that I tend to go back and forth from the subject at hand to the subject I'm kind of musing about. That's not what I want to do. I want to measure this one. So from here to about that R. And if it seems like I don't stick to the subject, it's because I'm trying to stick to two at once. Alright, let's try this. Okay, there's my background. Okay, let's put this guy over here. 
I have links below for this kind of glue with the little skinny nozzle. It's called, this is Art Glitter Glue. I'm not sure why. It looks like basic white glue to me, but the bottle is what makes it worth it because of that small nozzle. However, you do have to be careful that you put the lid back on because it can clog up being as it's so tiny. Okay, let's put it in here. I think this makes a really nice base for some pages. Now you don't need to do that, you can just like put anything on pages that you want to. All right, let's have a look through here and see what I can, what would be good, a good match for these. These I got are fairly new and I think they're so adorable. They're little tiny houses or markets, like that one's so cute. They come from someplace in Asia where they have that kind of language, don't ask me where. That one, I, I really like that one. All right, that's enough to choose from. And then these little things down in here are also useful. Okay, grab that. Can you even see those? Yes, that's in the camera view. All right, because this is black and white and sort of gray, I want a bit of color. I'm not sure if I want huge amounts, but let's see what this holds. These wild roses. So my home is a very quiet home. And when I was growing up, our our home, which was, you know, my bit, my family, my parents' choice, our home was quite a quiet home as well. I grew up on a farm on the prairies, so there was lots of room to roam. And even though, you know, winters could be very harsh, we still played outside a lot when I was a child, and my dad always made a, a skating rink right outside the front door. So all we had to do is put on our skates and step off this, off two steps and be skating, which was pretty special. Look at these. I think look at that. They're so pretty. I really like that one because the, the larger pieces keep it from disappearing in the background. That dark um, outline does too. Anyway, my siblings and I all got along well. You know, there was the odd squabble, but basically we were a pretty calm family for the most part. And um, and then, you know, I had a room where I could actually go and have it very quiet, which was very helpful to me because it suited my personality, which is introverted. I think I'm what you could call um, an outgoing introvert. I've never been remotely shy. Look at that. That's so gorgeous. Um, no, I've never been shy. I had to perform in public as a child because I could sing. I'm just getting out some of these things all at once here and picking out some pieces that appeal to me. Anyway, so I grew up, you know, kind of appreciating, the, appreciating quiet. And I think it was a good thing for me because as I've learned as life has gone on, I actually need quiet. And the reason for that is I am what is now called a highly sensitive person. I'm a highly sensitive person. And that means, doesn't mean I'm emotionally sensitive in my case, because, you know, I'm, I'm, I mean, everybody's emotionally sensitive to a degree, but 
what it really means is you have a, a, a nervous system that's more sensitive than the average person. So you get worn out faster. Um, energy, energy, you know, gets spent and whatever. And what sort of recharges my batteries, so to speak, is quiet. I think I'm going to make a little edge on this. So I have this little tub full of scissors. I read the book by Elaine, doc, I think it's doctor, maybe not, Elaine Aaron. I'll, I'll find a link and put it below. It's called The Highly Sensitive Person. And I read this book several years ago. In fact, I was so uh, gobsmacked, you could say, by what I learned from it that I bought the book and I've read it since again. And I, I think I need to read it every now and then just to remind myself, but it starts with a quiz. Like, answer these questions and see if this sounds like you. And it, it was like 100% me. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm not just weird. Uh, there's actually a type like me. And there are probably other people like me who appreciate a quiet life and actually need a quiet life. So the reason that this is important is because if you if you don't have it you just wear down and I wear wear I can wear down quite quickly I got some new tea so I'm the kind of person if I go to a party with my husband when I'm done I'm done and at that point it's like when I start saying it's time to go home I want to go home and he's like no no we're having too much fun let's let's stay let's stay I'm like I have car keys and I I have to leave now because I've run out of steam and he's become of course well he's a considerate person anyway but he's he over the years he's recognized the symptoms of okay Wendy's Wendy's done here Wendy's had enough this is actually quite a good fit for this spot put the same amount of space around it. I don't know why I didn't see that. Hearty congratulations class of 57. Give suggestions for the graduate. Baby doll pajamas, $2.98. Full shipment of those full billowy can-cans. I guess that's that? Must be that kind of crinoline. Just received smart strapless slips. Well, from $5.98. I bet that was a pricey number. I'll put that there just to offset the size here. Um, okay. Uh, let's see what kind of glue will I use. I think I'll use this one. This is, lots of people have asked me about this glue. It's called G G L O O glue, and um, there's a link below for it. When you're looking for the links below, you have to click on like it. YouTube only shows like a line or two and then you have to click on more or show more and then that opens the whole description and in the description there's links to products that you might be interested in and links to my website and my shop and also suggestions for other videos that you might like and interesting things like that. So uh, ways to support my channel if you're interested in that. All right, I've only got a few things out here and it seems like um, I should have more. These are ones that I sent for online somewhere and um, there's some cool things in here too like book related things like this that's really the only thing is they have quite a big white white border so I think I'll trim this down a little bit so what happens if I don't if I have if my life is too busy and too noisy I will get too tired and then I just like the best way to describe it is just to I just run out of steam it's like 
there's no energy left and I get forgetful I get irritable but I need more sleep you know all that kind of thing that's sort of the story of a, a highly sensitive person's life okay I have trimmed around this little piece now a train is going by and like I said it's extremely loud when it's really windy so I don't know I'm gonna try and remove that sound and I don't know if it'll be removed entirely so if you hear the roar in the background of this video it's because of that train where I live we get ferocious winds in the winter time because I live in a river valley near a lake and the wind comes thundering down the valley and down the lake and it meets around the mountains right here so it can be really really ferocious the kind of wind where you have to when you go to go outside you have to hold on to the door or the wind will rip it off this background is just so busy I feel like um, I don't know. Look at this. 10 cent women's black cotton hose. Four pairs for 25 cents. Those would be cozy. I like that. It's like a little flower shop. You know, with this glue book thing, you can just put anything in you want to. And you can do like over the top or just bits here and there. It's like I was at a meeting the other day and talking to someone about my videos and they said I do glue books. And it's like, what's that? And I said, well, if you had a scrapbook when you were a kid, it's not that different. You can just collect things as you go along and, you know, put them in a folder or a bag or envelope or whatever. And then you've got them when you want to sit down and just play. And really, that's what it is. It's just play. It's really cute. But when you're finished, then you've got something you can... You can look back in and go, oh yeah, this one's so nice, you know. I like doing that one and this one and that one and that sort of thing. Okay, I think I'll put something over Dorothy May here. So it's going to be one of these. Uh, this one you can actually kind of see through, so I'm going to use it. And as I mentioned before, to get these off their slick backing, you just have to run your thumb over the edge toward the sticky bit and then you can peel it off because you absolutely can't get your thumbnail between them they're too tight so this gives it um, you can actually see through it doesn't obliterate everything let's see what would work something square or round So the difference between the highly sensitive people and and the people who are somewhat less so is that the highly sensitive feel things a lot more. It's like if you if you have five nerves, the highly sensitive person has ten. You know, that's just my conclusion or description. So your nervous system detects things more on a more regular basis, I guess. I'm no expert at this. I just lived it. We tend to notice things other people don't notice. We tend to taste things that not everybody tastes. You tend to hear things and notice things like color and that sort of thing. Like, I'm likely to say, just look at the color of that sunset. And someone else might think, oh, I never really even noticed it. That looks kind of nice there, doesn't it? I like the um, sort of Art Nouveau look of it. And this is a glue book, but you don't have to use glue because, number one, there are no rules. So if you want to make it into a sticker book, because there's there's so many great stickers, just go for it. That can go right in there. I love the black and white. It's so 
it's so pretty and, and these are fun you know what I think I'm gonna color those so if you're finding this this video I'm just gonna say this if it's a little quiet for you if it's a little soporific even it's because I'm a little tired and people like me when we get tired as I've said you tend to kind of run out of energy and you don't have any any left to give really well you do but you don't I have this gold trim I feel like putting just a little little piece of it along in here just to fill that part in all right this is tricky because it's skinny which way is the back this is the back there however part of my goal in this channel is to provide a calm space for you to work with your hands or if you don't want to do that just watch me work with my hands and and just you know take a deep breath lean back just watch uh, and then just just enjoy me okay now I would probably like to have something down here I got this out but it's it's too big for the space I kind of feel like I'm out of touch I haven't slept very well that works there and why not introduce a little bit of glitter here okay which way up or down I think it goes better that way I've had a very busy week uh, I took on a project that I didn't really want to I should have listened to my mind my spirit my gut my head and said no this is not for me anyway I just, I acquiesced I said okay I'll do this job which ordinarily wouldn't be that big a deal but I'm I'm trying to do a bunch of creating and um, I'm going to be I'm involved in another project with someone else anyway everything coincided and of course I was away for almost two weeks visiting my sister in another province which is you know a five-hour flight away and nowadays of course it's not just the flight that takes time because I live like a almost two hours from the airport a drive and and then you have to be there three hours ahead of time before you even get on the plane so there's five hours plus the five hours on the plane Plus you get off the plane and if, if all goes well, someone picks you up like we'd arranged. My brother-in-law picked me up, but I, it did take another half hour before we connected. And then it was another hour back to their place. So that's three, no, five plus five plus another hour and a half. So it's 11 and a half hours, which is all day and then there's a three hour time difference which means you're kind of jet lagged and I want to use it so it says on it ochre ink bookmarks read more anyway when I go away I have to get everything done so that everything goes up on time while I'm away so that means working like crazy before I even go packing when I'm already tired from all that and you know doing that entire day of travel and then because Canada is a big place and you go from the west coast to Quebec and you're really only just over halfway across it so um, anyway those kind of things kind of wear me down but I you know I arrive it takes me a few days to kind of the jet lag the time difference for my body to get the time difference figured out and of course when I come home it's the reverse I have to switch back to local time here and then pick up where I went off where I left off with work which is I'm already behind on 
I'm going to put that there just because I want one more thing in here. And then I had these two deadlines. Well, one of them is not so much a deadline, just an uh, additional job. And then, oh, oh yeah, the other thing too is besides um, the difference in the time, like the very next week we had the daylight saving reversal thing happen. So then there's more adjustments to time zones. So there's the time zone and then the clock change, which I think they should do away with. Okay, I think that looks really pretty. Um, I feel like I would like a little bit of color in here, but I don't really want to cover that up because it's kind of fun. Um, but I need something tiny. This is my butterfly drawer. I don't really want another butterfly, but there are some other things in here too, like feathers. And these are die cuts that I bought at a shop. And there's like a lot of them and some of them are huge and some of them I printed that's a nice butterfly but where are all the feathers that's a big feather maybe if I just like this I can get them to fall out I guess that works but it needs trimming as well so I will just trim this down to its bare minimum. So as highly sensitive people, which is the real reason that I live a very quiet life, we tend to feel things a lot more easily, a lot more deeply. We just need the quiet. So when my children were still at home and they'd have friends over, my friends would always say, your house is so quiet. But I did it on purpose for one thing, my husband was out working full time and I often was too and we were just like pooped when we come home and um, you need the recovery time for one thing I think everyone needs that but a bunch of added noise and we, we were, we've never been a family where the television is on all the time in fact it's only been in the last couple of months that we've had regular broadcast TV since uh, let me think. This is sometime in the 80s, the late 80s. We just didn't care that much about it. But we never had a noisy background. And my husband likes to listen to the radio sometimes, but he'll turn it off as soon as I come in the room because um, unless I'm actually listening to a radio, I find it really irritating. So it's a matter of being considerate, of course. You have to look after your own health. I had a new doctor not long ago, and when I first met him, he said, well, it's my job to make you healthy. And I thought, since when? It's my job to keep myself healthy. So I do that by every means possible, which includes living a quiet life, because um, when you wear yourself out or you stream and try and be something you're not and, you know, all those kind of things, uh, it, your health will will tell you that you're not doing it right. So if you have health problems, you might want to look at your life and go, okay, what changes do I need to make here in order to have a calmer, healthier life and look after my body? I think that works very well right there. And I think... This is about all that the, these pages need. I love the visual activity with the backgrounds and the overlays and everything. That's really, I think that's really effective, especially this one. Maybe next time I'll actually just draw on these kind of things. I've done painting on on old book pages and that sort of thing. So if you look at, look through my channel, you'll find um, some different videos where I've done painting on old old book pages and it's it's so pretty anyway I think that's it oh look at this here's a moth escaped I'm so glad that you've joined me today I hope that you've enjoyed this please take a moment and subscribe to my channel and click the little bell so you get the notifications when I have a new video and also uh, I'd love it if you would leave a comment and click the like button because that tells the algorithm something that actually helps me out and uh, I will see you next time.